course you know Kate Joe. Not crazy about it. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, happy Thursday, everybody. So Ron DeSantis announced his candidacy, which means it's time for... Here he comes straight out from Florida's been handled. A track of record without a scandal. And dibs are going sing. Oh yeah, they feel pain. Ooh, ooh, ooh. When Rod launches his campaign. Ooh, 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 ooh. So if you're feeling blue, ooh, 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 oh yeah, Ron DeSantis to ride on cue. I said to Gene, make it bad. Mission, Mission accomplished. <laughs> so uh, it happened during an audio stream with Elon Musk on Twitter, but there were technical glitches that prevented the Florida governor from speaking for about 25 minutes, which prompted Biden's press team to ask, any way you can hook us up with those glitches? <laughs> Meanwhile, Musk already dealt with those responsible. Oh, a wise guy, a head clunker, eh? Oh, he came from Becky and Anna. He didn't do it, and you did. <laughs> Great. Get out. Does look like Musk. But the conversation eventually got going and lasted about an hour. We pause now to listen to all of it. Well, I am running for president of the United States. All right, that's enough. <laughs> Not the first time I promised an hour and finished in seconds. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Later, Ron stopped by to chat with our pal Trey Gowdy shortly afterwards, despite their differences on what constitutes a good haircut. You know, I'm beginning to think Trey doesn't go to a barber. He just sticks his head into the world's largest pencil sharpener. <laughs> <laughs> but I wonder, Ron, do we know if the country's on the wrong track? We know the country's on the wrong track. We see it with our eyes. We feel it in our bones. We see the border being overrun. We see crime infesting the cities. We see the federal government making it more difficult for families <laughs> to make ends meet. And we have a president who is a listless vessel. Mm, listless? That is so untrue. Biden's got a lot of lists. Look at this one. I'll read it. <laughs> put on shoes after socks. Don't put on socks after shoes. <laughs> Only shake hands with real people. The person named Jill is your wife. <laughs> but DeSantis uh, makes it clear our country's off track, something Biden and friends will never admit, even when trains literally go off the tracks. Joe treats derailments the way he treats unplanned grandchildren, like they never happened. But Ron better be ready to rumble, because the media and the Dems see him not just as a huge threat, but also evil, and their mouths are foaming like Kevin Spacey watching a Little League game. <laughs> I don't get it. Vanity Fair came up with this headline. Ron DeSantis will formally announce his 2024 bid with Elon Musk because apparently David Duke wasn't available. So really, a David Duke reference, he's almost as irrelevant as Vanity Fair. But that shows you how all of those white supremacists are the, are the fabric of imaginations when the only ones the media can actually reference is a loser from decades ago. And failed presidential candidates are chiming in, too. This old clam tweeted, <laughs> Ron DeSantis' ultra mega Florida isn't safe for people of color, LGBTQ plus people, or even multi-billion dollar corporations. Hmm, isn't safe? I bet it's probably safer than being a former friend of Hillary, <laughs> allegedly. So it's more of the same lie going back to Florida's so-called don't say gay bill. Remember that, that DeSantis signed? Do you remember the don't say gay bill? Behold. Gay, 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 gay. Don't say gay bill. <laughs> <laughs> the actually, that never happened. <laughs> The bill could have said Florida residents get free rainbow penis pouch bikinis in the case of Bud Light, and the media would still say it's anti-gay. 
because their strategy, as always, is to demonize. See, even if you think Ron is Trump without the drama, it's not going to matter. With the help of the media, they create the drama, and then it blames you. It's like they set their own hair on fire, then call you the arsonist. So it's stupid to think things will be less contentious with a non-Trump candidate. They'll be called evil from the start, which allows them for them to commit all crimes. Hell, they'll even fix an election if they're fighting Hitler. Here's the CNN headline from today. Why DeSantis is just as dangerous as Trump or more. You see that? And here we were told that Trump was an existential threat. So is DeSantis an extra existential threat? How is that possible? He, he's not just evil, he's double secret super MAGA evil. Poor CNN. Just like Jeffrey Tubin, they screwed themselves. <laughs> if you don't say DeSantis is as bad as Trump, that's an endorsement for DeSantis. And if you say he's worse than Trump, then you expose your previous hysteria for what it was. So except, expect more of this. It's obvious that Ron DeSantis is a white supremacist, right? I, I, I don't want to dislike you. I can't help it. Why do you dislike people of color? What's wrong with American history? Yeah. What's wrong with gay folks? This is not a freedom agenda. This is a do what Ron DeSantis tells you to do. The state owns you agenda. As you can see, the demonization is up and sprinting like a trans girl at a high school track meet. <laughs> and you don't have to be Trump or even white. Look at new candidate Tim Scott. He's one of these guys who, you know, he's like Clarence Thomas, black Republican who believes in pulling yourself by your bootstraps, rather than, to me, understanding the systemic racism that African Americans face in this country and other minorities. He doesn't get it, neither does uh, Clarence. Right. And that's why they're Republicans. Mm, well, thank you for explaining to us what it's like to be black in America, you 80-year-old white hag who once wore blackface. Yeah. She's fugly no matter what the color. <laughs> but you got to have some real balls to be a white woman lecturing black men on being black. Maybe she does. <laughs> Bottom line, if the GOP has any plans to win, they got to come out swinging like Larry Kudlow at nude volleyball. <laughs> what, a, what an image, huh? Uh. <laughs> but don't pretend that if Trump's out of the picture, those never-Trumpers are just going to return to the fold. No, they still hate you for liking Trump. So if you're hoping for a calmer election, don't kid yourself. They want to destroy you as much as they want to destroy the candidates. Perhaps they want you dead, because then they can count on you to vote Democrat. <laughs> Let's welcome tonight's guest. He thinks outside the box, then sleeps in one at night. Founder of the LoftusParty.com, Michael Loftus. <laughs> Mother's Day was two weeks ago, and she's still hung over. Fox News anchor, Julie Banderas. She's like the Manhattan DA, because she never lets you finish a sentence. Fox News contributor, Kat Tim. <laughs> and finally, he's got his head in the clouds. Literally. My massive sidekick in the NWA's world heavyweight champion, Tyrus. <laughs> I have to go in reverse order tonight because as we were playing uh, Joy Behar, I could hear uh, Tyrus uh, uh, saying... Adjective, that, my pronoun was you. That's yes. What it was. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You know... How do you feel about her giving you information on what it's like to be black? <laughs> yeah, well, I like to give her some information on what it's like to be a bitch. Uh, <laughs> she's... Uh, this, is, this is why... The elite left like her pushed racism so much. Everything's racism. I'm a white supremacist, all this stuff. So they can have the, it's enough of it out there to where they can say what they want to say. It was so hard for her not to say what she really wanted to say. If you go back and watch that, these guys, <laughs> that's not the word she wanted to use. She just, any black man that's successful on his own and has his own way of thinking mm -hmm. clearly can't be black because they know what black people are. They need them. They can't do things without them. And probably the most, 
the, the saddest thing was watching Sonny sit there and co-sign because it's never about color, it's about them. If you're not voting, and there's the dumb, and it's only us brothers that we have to work so hard to get to a certain place, then we get there, and supposedly we hop through all these hurdles and they want to praise us, but as soon as we don't do what they want to do, we weren't black in the first place. Mm -hmm. So, can I have my white privilege then? Yeah. Like, make up your mind. <laughs> Which, if I'm not black, what am I now? Yes. Because <laughs> I'm certainly not going to be able to be white. Yeah. Like, and she gets away with this, because, and, it was, and it's even on their own show. Whoopi Goldberg made comments about what she thought the Jewish experience was based off her ideas as a black woman. She had to apologize, and she was kicked off the air for a week. Yeah. Bayard can sit up there and basically call Scott and the Supreme Court Uncle Tom's mm -hmm. and get away with it, and no one says anything about it because that we're all racist. She's not. She's just pointing it out. She used Republicans as a term for Uncle Tom's. It's disgusting. And it's, they get away with it, and it's shameful. Yeah. Julie, good to see you as always. Well, and if, stop. I know, I am lying. You <laughs> noticed I was lying right yeah. then and there. You didn't, yeah. even, you didn't even let me finish. Isn't it interesting, though, that no matter what Republican is put forward, they're always going to be more evil than the one before it. So why, why, why even think that there's going to be no drama? I mean, the fact that she used racism and then Clarence Thomas in the same <laughs> sentence, yeah. and then she's like, but they're Republican. So I guess you can't be Republican in black. Right. She's a genius. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and it's interesting that she had Sonny Austin sitting right next to her as a minority, and she didn't say a word. Yeah. So it just goes to show they don't have an actual spine. They don't have a backbone. They're just preaching to the choir, which is their liberal audience, and that's all they want to hear. And of course, if you're black, God forbid you have conservative values. Mm -hmm. That's despicable. And that's also just, that's just protruding more hate onto the American public and onto the ignorant viewers that watch the show and actually buy the that they're selling. They actually tune in to listen to her expertise as a white 80-year-old woman talk about what the black man suffers. <laughs> Come on. Seriously. Yeah. Oh, and I just want to say something about Ron DeSantis announcing on Twitter. Yeah. Stupid. Really? That was a bad move. You think I so? like Ron DeSantis. Mm -hmm. I just thought that was a bad move. He's trying to, a 44-year-old presidential candidate uh, elect, he would like to become one. He goes on Twitter thinking, oh, social media, young people, blah, blah, blah. That was a bad choice. Bad Interesting. choice. Interesting. Do you agree, uh, Michael? Uh, Twitter is a social media platform that people with phones and the internet have. <laughs> Living on the street, you yeah. have no, uh, you have no familiarity with anything no. electrical. You always have to tap into other people's lines. We, yeah, we do dumpster talk. <laughs> yeah. That's where you you raise the lid and you scream into it. It echoes to the next dumpster over. <laughs> oh, that's that's amazing. You find out Hobo Joe's coming in with a fresh can of beans. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, I think the Twitter thing was great. That was a good announcement. Everybody's talking about exactly. it, and I think the Twitter staff now is what? It's Elon Musk and two dudes and <laughs> yes. a drunk parrot. It is. You know, and then half no. the time Elon takes uh. off early to build. A rocket. <laughs> it's it's wild to see the left get so emboldened. Like like you know everybody's just gonna do search and replace articles. You know they'll write the most horrific thing about Trump, and then if DeSantis is the guy, they're like and replace. So DeSantis will be the mother of all evils. Mm -hmm. I I can't get past the Hillary Clinton with her little warning tweet about Florida. Yeah. Like Florida is not safe. <laughs> like that's a warning coming from that. Yeah. Right? Like, Florida should do a video tomorrow going, I feel good. Yeah. I love life. I'm not going to commit suicide. Yeah. You're not going to yeah. find me on a tree with an electrical cord and two shots and no gun. It's a suicide. Yes. Yeah, she's like uh, she's like Joe Pesci in the in Goodfellas mm -hmm. when she's just going way too far. We're, we're only like a week away from the Durham report. Yeah. We're like, Which, like she, okay, her campaign made it up. She paid for the Steele dossier. The FBI, the intelligence community, they all colluded together, and Hillary is still out there going, hey, Florida, I don't think you're safe. You might have a problem down there. <laughs> Talk about bulls. Yeah, true. You know, uh, Kat, did you listen to any of the, uh, the announcement on Twitter? I didn't know about it until I heard about the glitches, so the glitches helped. I didn't listen to it. No. No. Ron DeSantis, I, I agree, Julie, it's weird. Like, he's 10 years older than I am, but I feel like he could be my dad. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. He just, I think, yeah, he is kind of boring, which I guess some people say is a good thing, but just because he's boring won't stop all these people from saying things about him. It is a little embarrassing that the glitch has happened, I think. Mm -hmm. Whenever you hype something up and then it doesn't work, yeah, that's really sad. Mm -hmm. But I, I also am surprised that Trump didn't, like, claim responsibility for it. Oh, that would have been good. <laughs> I was checking. <laughs>
all day to be like, how do you like that Twitter? Like, yeah. didn't have to yeah. be true, but just to be like, what if, maybe? I think that going forward, the 25-minute the glitch is going to be r repeatedly brought up by Trump mm -hmm. over and over and over again. And I don't know... <sighs> It's gonna be it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough to see. It, it's an interesting comparison though when you think about it because Trump's announcement was the the escalator, right? And he came down and then he said something that like just exploded, <laughs> like he talked about they're not sending their best people or something like that. And this is just <clears throat> this is so DeSantis. It's a glitch. Can I chime yeah. in real quick because I wasted too much time on that person. <laughs> <laughs> so the left thinks they've got the formula to beat Trump down, Patton. Yeah. So they can't afford a DeSantis or a Scott or, or a Haley or the literally most diverse, right. competent group running for president. No one's selling, celebrating that. Yeah, that's which true. The network of diversity is like, look at the Republican Party. Yeah. You have a representative literally from every corner of the, of the planet culturally. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Because they know, they think they can beat Trump. So they're going to have to destroy DeSantis. They're going to destroy everyone who comes out because they think if they can get him to the general, yeah. they can beat him. So that's where President Trump has to be tricky. And maybe he starts praising the people he's running against mm -hmm. because CNN is going to do all your heavy lifting for you. Like the <laughs> stories that they're doing because they think we want Trump because we beat him before where they think they can beat him again. All right, we've got to move on. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.